This is me. And this is my studio. I work with paper. Paper I paint. Magazine paper. I've never met a paper I didn't like. My tools are simple. Glue, palette knife, straight edge, paint brushes, acrylic paints, and my hands. I was a graphic designer. I worked with typography and images. I'm still playing with type, deconstructing and reconstructing. was a big year for me. I had a, a solo exhibition at the Contemporary Arts Center here in New Orleans. It was an installation. I had a 30-foot um, piece in the entrance and then I filled a gallery. While that was hanging, I had my first solo show at Jonathan Farrar Gallery. And then in the summer in Atlanta, I was a part of a four-person show at Spalding Mix Fine Art. And then in the fall, I curated a show, a group show, at Barrister's Gallery. I had work in it as well. I was looking forward to 2020, to not have major commitments, experiment again, see where I was headed, and then COVID. Uh, be careful what you wish for, right? I spent the last two months set up on my porch, working and um, what the space allowed and really what my head allowed was to work small. My work is about the space between and connections. I find connection through lines. My small works created in quarantine have become puzzle-like and more complicated. These are a mix between finished pieces and works in progress. I display my work as I'm working on it to understand the relationship between pieces you know, to live with my work a little longer, decide if it truly is finished, or to understand what I need to do next. I realized quickly that I wouldn't be able to teach the class that I was planning on teaching at the academy. I wrote to my students and I said, if you want to try and do this online, I'm game. Once a week, I send an assignment. A week later, they upload the, their work to a shared photo file. And the next day we have a Zoom critique. As I'm trying to do an assignment for class, of course, it leads me to my own work changing. This one assignment I was working on um, some found paper. The composition that, that it gave me when I cut these small pieces in half made me want to play with them and see what I could come up with. So I, I have this really um, interesting series that I did on paper that uh, looks a little different than my normal work because of the start that was that I gave myself. My name is Andrea Anderson. In 2019, I had the honor of working with artist Aimee Farnay Siegel on an exhibition of her work entitled Principle of Uncertainty for the Contemporary Arts Center in New Orleans. I remember entering Aimee's studio where paintings were stacked around the space. And in one corner, there were some early sculptures so in stepping back, I had the sense that Aimee was not only seeing the field of a single canvas when she worked, but also one field in relationship to another field in space. And so I dared her to think about her composition as an occupation of three-dimensional space. And that dare became an installation, and that installation became an exhibition. As the work became larger in scale, Aimee turned to new materials balancing size with scale, color with line. To be in one of Aimee's installations is to constantly reassess one's position in space and the kind of visibilities it affords. Some works obfuscate others, blocking entire fields of paint, while others have cutouts that afford another perspective. Sometimes I think that Jasper Johns is whispering into Aimee's ear, take an object, do something to it, do something else to it, 
Her practice is not only governed by how something looks, but also by what it does and what else it might do. In 2018, Aimé began a series of rectangular works that she realized quickly in studio, which then became mail art sent to unsuspecting colleagues and friends, an exercise in radical expanded field. But what I really appreciate is that some of her most demanding works are her smallest, as the field diminishes the internal relationships intensify, like using just a few words to say a big thing.